Welcome to another episode and today I'm going to be talking about two subjects Cyberpunk 2077's guns and Flight Simulator which I thought was pretty cool First let's go with Flight Simulator and that is right now people are flying into the storm Hurricane Laura to be exact why? Because in Flight Simulator, you can do that. You can fly anywhere in the world in real time. So, for example, right now, there's a big hurricane happening down the coast of Texas, Louisiana, and a bunch of other southern states. And some people are actually flying their planes into the storm. And that's actually pretty damn cool. Now, it does suck for the people living there in real life because there's supposed to be this big surge of water going through and the tide is going to rise and a lot of people are going to lose their house and livelihoods and especially right now going during a pan pan is going to be awful but that's a subject for another video because those who blame are politicians who take corporate bribes but back to the game I wonder if I'll be able to fly into tornadoes and stuff while it's actually happening because I that's pretty cool man and the thing is, I did not know this, but as you fly, it's in real time. So if you're going to take off from the West Coast and you intend to fly all the way to New York, it's going to take you seven hours in real time. It's not going to be, you know, just 30 minutes or whatnot. No, 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 no. It's real time. That is freaking awesome. So you actually got to dedicate your day to play this game. If you plan on going anywhere far. Now imagine that. Even if you're just trying to fly from your local airport to the next airport over, it's gonna be at least an hour away. So you gotta dedicate to at least playing the game for an hour if you wanna land successfully. Man, I can't wait for that game to come out on the Xbox Series X. I'm definitely, definitely gonna get it. I'm gonna get it just for this game alone. Game Pass, come on. Oh, I can't wait. Anyways, I just want to let you know that people are flying into hurricanes, and I thought that was pretty cool. Also, about Cyberpunk 2077, there are some guns in the game that are throwaway guns. See, I knew that there's going to be guns, obviously, and you'd be able to collect them cool guns that shoot different, but set in the world of Cyberpunk, guns are normal as just buying a flashlight or buying everyday items. In fact, there's even pictures in the game, portraits of kids and their family, ads of their kids and their families holding guns like it's no big thing. These throwaway guns are intended to just be used once, there's no reload. And they're actually pretty useful. People usually pick them up on their way to work and then at the end of the night, you know, they still have one. If they don't use it, they can still use it. But once they use it on whatever they use it on, they can just throw it away. And the price is relatively cheap, about five, six bucks, you know, like in US terms. So it's just like buying a cup of coffee every day. These guns, disposable guns. Now that is wild. And the reason why they're so cheap is because I guess crime and Night City, it's just so rampant that you're gonna get robbed. It's just, it happens all the time. Robbings are not normal. Break-ins during the weekend are not normal. So you need a gun. And if you don't want to buy a big old expensive gun, then don't worry, you can buy these disposable ones. I thought that was damn pretty cool. Now, I can't wait to play the game just for little things like this, man. You know what I mean? Like, cool little things they do in games. <sighs> Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Remember, when shit hits the fan, run.